Okay, in this video we're going to look at which primes have a square root of 2 modulo p. So in other words, we're going to look at quadratic residues uh, modulo p and answer the question, when is 2 a quadratic residue? So let's just recall that a is a quadratic residue mod p. If there's a solution to this equation, x squared is congruent to a mod p. And furthermore, we're going to make use of the Legendre symbol. And let's recall that it's like a question. It asks the question, are you a quadratic residue mod p? And we have this in parentheses a by, by p is 1. If the answer is yes, we are a quadratic residue. And it's negative 1 if it is not a quadratic residue. So let's look at our big theorem. So if p is an odd prime, then 2 is a quadratic residue mod p if and only if p is 1 mod 8, p is 7 mod 8, and that's also equivalent to p squared minus 1 over 8 is congruent to 0 mod 2. So we're going to use the properties of the Legendre symbol to show that uh, 2 by p is 1 if p is congruent to 1 or 7 mod 8, and it's negative 1 otherwise. Um, and now let's also recall the following. Let's also recall that this is equal to negative 1 to the n, where n is the number of elements in the following set, and this is Gauss's lemma. I have a uh, video on Gauss's lemma if you want to check it out. So it's the number of elements in the set uh, 2 times k mod p, and so we've reduced that, um, where k is between uh, 0 and p minus 1, and uh, 2k mod p, so 2k mod p reduced is bigger than p over 2. Okay, good. So that may seem like a lot to work with, but it's really not too bad. Now, let's also notice that this is equal to uh, p minus 1 over 2 minus the number of elements in the set 2k mod p, where again, k goes from 1 to p minus 1, but now we'll say 2k mod p is less than p over 2. Okay, great. So, and it turns out we can get a handle on this set easier than we can get a handle on that set. And so, now let's notice the following. So, uh, let's notice that uh, 2 times k is <clears throat> less than p over 2 if and only if k is less than uh, p over 4. Okay, great. Um, so that means this set has uh, the floor of p over 4 elements, which means thus our n in this case is p minus 1 over 2 minus the floor of p over 4. So in fact, what we'll do is we'll calculate the Legendre symbol 2 by p equals minus 1 to the n, where n is this value. So I'll erase the board, and then we'll get to it, and that will lead us to the first of these equivalences. Okay, so we established on the last board that this 2 by p, this Legendre symbol, which will answer the question, is 2 a quadratic residue or not, is given by the value of negative 1 to the p minus 1 over 2 plus the floor of p over 4. So notice that all we really need to know is the evenness or oddness of this number. We don't need to know anything else about it. So what I'll do now is look at this number modulo 2, that way we can extract the evenness or oddness. So we'll look at p minus 1 over 2 plus the floor of p over 4, and we're going to look at that mod 2. And we're going to look at it mod 2 for all possible uh, values of the prime uh, mod 8. So we want to first look at um, P is of the form 8k plus 1. We'll look at P is of the form 8k plus 3. P is of the form 8k plus 5. And then finally, we'll look at the form P is of the form 8k plus 7. Okay, great. So if P is of the form 8k plus 1, then notice P minus 1 is 8k over 2. So that's going to give us 4k. 
Great. And now if we look at the floor of 8K plus 1 over 4, that's going to give us, oh, and I just realized these should be minus signs. That should give us um, 2K. And now notice that is congruent to 0 mod 2. Great, so since that's con congruent to zero mod two, that means here we'll get our um, negative one to the even number, so that'll be a positive one. Great, now let's look at eight K plus three. So if we subtract one from that, we get eight K plus two divided by two will give us four K plus one. And then the floor of eight K plus three over four is again two K. But now notice that is one mod two. Okay, great. And now the next thing we can see is that if we plug in P equals 8K plus 5, here we're going to get um, 8K plus 4 over 2. So we'll get 4K plus 2 minus 2K plus 1 because if we plug that in here and take the floor, we'll have that left over. And now notice that is also congruent to 1 mod 2. That is an odd number. Now finally, if we look at 8K plus 7, so if we plug that in here, what we'll get is 4K plus 3. Great. And then if we plug it in here, we're going to get minus 2K plus 1, but now notice that is 0 mod 2. Okay, good. So now notice that this is going to give us the following. Now we can plug all of these up into this up here, and notice we'll get 1 if P is congruent to 1 or 7 modulo 8, and we'll get a negative 1 if P is congruent to 3 or 5 mod 8. <coughs> Okay, good. So that means we've established this uh, first um, equivalence of this theorem. And so now I'll erase the board and then we'll establish the second equivalence of the theorem. Okay, so now we're ready to establish the second equivalence of this theorem. So what we'll do is we'll calculate p squared minus 1 over 8 for all possible values of the prime when we look at them modulo 8. So let's look at that. So p squared minus 1 over 8. So that will have four possibilities. And so now notice we'll have 1 when uh, p is equal to 8k plus 1. 1 when we have 8k plus 3, 1 when we have 8k plus 5, and then the last one when we have 8k plus 7. And now uh, what we should end up with is that p congruent to 1 and 7 mod 8 will give us this is congruent to 0 mod 2, and the other one should give us 1 mod 2. So let's make sure that's the case. Okay, so 8k plus 1, so if we square that, we're going to get 64k squared plus 16k plus 1 minus 1 over 8. Okay, good. Well, so, so notice these guys are going to cancel, and then we will have a multiple of 2. So this is clearly congruent to 0 mod 2. Okay, fantastic. Now let's look at this next one. So again, we're going to get 64k squared, and then 8 times 3 is 24 plus um, 2, sorry, sorry, times 2 is 48, so we have 48 K uh, plus 9 minus 1 over 8. So that's what we'll get there. Notice this is divisible by 8. This is divisible by 8. <clears throat> um, and then here we get uh, just 8. Good. And then also notice that these two are divisible by 16. So what we'll get here, this is congruent to 1 mod 2. Okay, fantastic. Now let's look at the next one. So if P is equal to 8K plus 5, we're going to get uh, 64K squared. And then, let's see, we're going to get plus 80K plus 80K plus 25 minus 1 over 8. Good. And then again, this is divisible by 16. This is divisible by 16. So that means when you divide them by 8, the whole thing is going to be divisible by 2, and then 25 minus 1 uh, divided by 8 is 3, which is congruent to 1 mod 2. 
Okay, great. Now we're ready for the last bit. P is equal to 8K plus 7. So notice here we're going to get 64K squared. And then uh, 56 times 2, which is plus 112K uh, plus 49 minus 1 over 8. Good. Now notice 49 minus 1 is 48, which is a multiple of 16. This is a multiple of 16. This is a multiple of 16. So the entire numerator is a multiple of 16, which means when you divide out by 8, you get a multiple of 2. So this is 0 mod 2. Okay, good. So now this gives us a nice test. So this first equivalence is really in the spirit of um, using quadratic residues and the Lagrange symbol. And the second one is like a quick test for if two is a quadratic residue. You just square the prime, subtract one, and divide by eight, and then you have the answer. Okay, so that's the end of this video.